Welcome back to my channel. I am Maria and we're going to do a kind of full face tutorial today. So uh, yeah, let's get started. The first thing that we're going to use is Smashbox Photo Ready Primer. Photo, I can't even get the name right on this. Photo Finish Primer. Just putting a little dot on and then applying it. And again, I kind of focus it on the areas that have pores, but I'm not too concerned about that. I just want a kind of light coverage over the whole face. The next thing that I need to do is I need to cover up these nasty blue uh, situations. <laughs> I got situations under my eyes. So what's really good for that is a salmon colored uh, corrector. And a lot of times they'll be called eye brighteners, that sort of thing. But you want to look for, with something with a corally salmon peach color because that will cancel out the blue. And I always put this on first uh, just because it's such a weird color and then your foundation covers it up. So I just go in and I apply it and I, I make sure to take it up into um, here because this area has a lot of blue. And I just use this little concealer brush and I just dab it on with that. Then I just go in and I pat with my finger. I'll take away this. Just pat away until I get that all blended. So today what I'm going to use for my foundation is uh, the Fit Me Matte Poreless in 112. And it doesn't have a pump which kind of makes me feel sad. Oh, this is Maybelline, by the way. So I just put a little bit on the back of my hand. And the reason why I do this is I don't want to be sticking my finger. I don't want to be going like this all the time because it just uh, puts uh, bacteria from your finger into the foundation and you don't want that. So I just put some on my hand. Can you see it there? And I'm going to use a dampened beauty blender. Now this isn't uh, the actual beauty blender, which you can get at Sephora, different stores like that, the Bay, places like that. Uh, the beauty blender in Canada is $25. I got this at HomeSense and it was $7.99. And I've heard that some don't work as good. This is like a Real Techniques one or Revive, I think was the black brand, but it's super soft and you just, uh, fill it up with water, like put it under the tap, and then you wring it out so it's super squishy. And then I use this, and what that does is it just gives a nice flawless finish. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation. And I just take a bit, I dab it onto the beauty blender, and then go straight onto the face. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I don't use concealer for blemishes because I don't really have any, but I use it to brighten under the eyes in like on the high points of the face. And that's part of uh, contouring. So right now my face looks really flat, slightly alien. <laughs> but this you'll see once I get the, uh, the concealer on, uh, which brightens. Uh, and then I'll do some contouring. It'll start to bring angles and dimension to my face. So we're going to go in with Maybelline uh, Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair. And when you do concealer this way, you don't want to just do under your eye. You want to do kind of, some people do a triangle, uh, a triangle. I do a triangle, but I do it like whiskers, uh, like so. I don't know why I do it like that. I just think it's fun, so that's what I do. And then again, blend it in with your beauty blender. Then I go on and I do my forehead, give myself a little crow's foot up top, go down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my lip right here, and then you can do your laugh lines too. I don't normally, but I like my laugh lines. Laugh lines are a good thing. <laughs> Never be ashamed of your laugh lines, girls. So before I contour, I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever HD powder. It's a loose powder. 
and I just used this e.l.f. Kabuki brush. It was six bucks, I think. The Makeup Forever powder, you can get it at Sephora. Um, it's more expensive, it was 30 something, but it lasts forever. Like I use this every day and I've had it for uh, over a year now. And again, the idea of the powder is to set your face so you don't have your, uh, your concealer creasing or anything like that, but you also don't want it to look so thick and cakey uh, and, th and that's why going uh, with a nice powder is sometimes worth it because then you get a really finely milled product that doesn't make your face look all thick and yucky. Looks like skin still. So next I'm going to contour my uh, cheeks, uh, the cheek area and my nose area. And I'm going to use the NYX blush in taupe. Uh, this just really works well for fair skinned people. So um, yeah. It's kind of almost gray and what you want uh, this is different than bronzer when you put a bronzer on uh, you're warming up your face a contour is usually a cooler shade of a like a taupey brown uh, and the whole purpose of it is to create shadows so you're wanting to create shadows to make your face look more chiseled because let's face it we all want that chiseled look well maybe you don't I do I think it's fun Makeup should be fun. If it's stressful, don't do it, man. Or if it's stressful, learn how to do it and, and then have fun with it. Okay, see how that works? So you want to put it in the hollow of your cheek right there, and then you want to blend it up. And you start it back here, kind of bring it forward. You don't want to go much further than uh, here. So you put your second knuckle with your middle finger, put it to here, and that's about where you should be ending your contour. And then you just blend it up a bit. So now to contour the nose, uh, a person absolutely doesn't have to. So many of these steps are not necessary, so do what works for you. But contouring the nose can help straighten out a nose, uh, make it look a little bit smaller, a little bit skinnier, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah. And again, you put the contour on and you kind of use a light hand. Oh, I'm going to pick my nose. Okay, you l use a light hand and then you want to blend it out. And you want to leave this part in here uh, light because that's the high point and that's what creates uh, dimension again. And I don't bring my contour too far up into here because I have a relatively narrow bridge, but if you want to make your bridge a little uh, more narrow looking, you can bring your contour right up into here. Now we're going to move on to eyes and like I did before, we're going to prime our lids. Whoa! These things, seriously, they jump out of my hands. Now that I have my eyelids primed, we're going to go in with the Kat Von D Monarch palette. This is what the, the artwork looks like and I'll show you the inside. Looks like that. These are really beautiful shadows. They're highly pigmented. I really enjoy this palette. Uh, the shadows last all day and it's, I think it was around $55, which seems like quite a lot of money uh, to begin with, but you're getting tons of shades of shadow and they're all excellent quality. So in the end, it ends up being a really good bang for your buck. And they last, uh, like, you know, I've had this and, you know, you barely put dents in it uh, because you're, uh, yeah, they're so highly pigmented. So I'm going to go in with a little blender brush. This is actually a fat blender bl brush or yeah, crease brush. I guess it would be called a crease brush. So kind of tapered. And I'm going to go into this uh, shade right here, this light taupe shade. Next, I'm gonna take a smaller taper brush and I'm going to go into the color right beside it it's, this one's kind of uh, a satiny colored 
it's just a darker taupe. I'm going to place that underneath again and again blending to the inner third of your iris and then I'm kind of taking it down a little bit onto the lid. Now I'm going to go back in with that first tapered brush, the fluffier one, and I'm just going to blend these two together so I get a really seamless look. Now I'm going to go into this highlight shade, this middle one, and it's super silvery taupey. It's super silvery taupey goodness. And I'm going to apply that on the lid with my C brush. Like, and seriously, I'm barely tapping my brush in this, and I've all, I, I got actually too much color on the, the second shade, and I barely put my brush in there. They're, they're just awesome shadows. Now I'm going to take a clean, fluffy brush, and I'm going to blend that out again. This time, I don't want to blend the silver, like the really uh, light shade up, because that'll look messy. So I start kind of at the dark part of the crease, and I work down. Now I'm going to take this little uh, pointed crease brush. It's just a tiny, like a pencil brush. What do they call it? They call it an eye crease brush. And I'm going to be putting this dark shade here. And it looks black, but it's actually just a really, really dark brown. It, it, it's like, it's beautiful. I just, <laughs> it's a beautiful color. See how that darkened up this side as opposed to this side? And I just, you know, just use the tiniest tap. Actually, I'll show you how I'm tapping in. So here's the color. I'm going like this. That's it. Just a light hand. And then again, a very light hand on my eye. I'm barely touching it to my eye. And when I see that color start to apply, then I can thicken it up and control it. And then I'm going to go in with this really tiny pencil brush, and it's a dense brush. I'm going to go into that silver shade again, and I'm just going to do the inner corner. And what this does is it just brightens up the eye. We're going to do the lower lash line. I'm going to go back into that original taupe shade, that lighter taupe shade. And I'm going to take this angled uh, eyeliner brush and I'm going to go into, it's this, um, it's kind of a silvery taupe shade down here. And I'm going to put that closer to the lash line. And again, you don't want to drag it across because that'll just get product in your eyes and that's super uncomfortable. You want to just kind of pat it on. So for my highlight color, I'm just using this kind of creamy color and applying that above my brow. And you, you usually want to use a, just a matte color as your highlight, otherwise it looks frosty and it looks like something from the 70s, 80s. So you want to keep this part matte up here. You can add as much shimmer and stuff as you want to here or even the bottom lash, but under your eye you want to go for a matte. Just looks more natural. So this is what we have so far. Now we're going to go in with our eyeliner. Again, I'm using Scandalize and I'm going to do it again. Kind of on the inner or the upper water line. And that's all I'm doing. I'm not doing anything on the top line. And then I will do the bottom water line. And and again, that darkens up my lash line. So it gives the appearance of thick lashes. It frames my eye, but it doesn't take away from your lid color. 
So sometimes you can bring it up, like you can give yourself a little bit more right in here, just going into the lash line. But personally, you know, that's all you would need to do. And yeah, so there you go. And especially for girls like myself that have what's called a hooded eyelid. So you can see my eyelid pretty good, but a lot of times if I'm resting my eye, uh, the, the lid goes underneath this big fold. So um, that just kind of makes it so that your eyelid looks bigger. How many ways could I say that, huh? Next comes the exciting part. Well, I guess it's not that exciting. I think it's exciting. Well, no, it's just another step. But anyway, next I'm going to use Anastasia of Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade for my eyebrows. What do you think? Is there a difference between the two? So next I'm going to curl my lashes with this contraption, do mascara and put on false lashes. Now that I've got my lashes on, and it actually, they went on with not too much of an incident. I'm going to do my blush and my highlighter. And for my blush, I'm gonna use MAC Cubic. I don't wanna to go too crazy, because I want my focus to be these dopey, awesome eyes with the crazy false eyelashes, which I happen to love. These false lashes I got at Walmart and they came in a five pair package for $12.99 and what I like about them is that they crisscross and they, they're kind of like little clumps and what I find is that even though these are like kind of over the top and really long they they look a lot more natural than just like lashes that look like this because uh, our lashes naturally kind of crisscross. Or I think they do anyway. And for a highlighter today, I'm going to use this. It's Lancome Eclair Miracle. I think that's how you'd say it. Anyway, it's this shimmery liquid. It's very liquidy. <laughs> so there it is. And then I'm going to use this. This is called a stipple brush. So whenever you have a brush, that has white on the top and, and black, it means the, the bristles get a little bit smaller and a little, or just a little less dense at the top, which makes it great, great for uh, putting on liquid products uh, sparingly. So I just tap it on my hand like this. Any cream product, you can do that. And then I'm going to just apply that to my cheekbone. Put a bit of that on the tip of my nose, or the top of my nose. I'm going to put a little bit right here in my temple. And the idea of a highlighter is to give you kind of a dewy, kind of glowing look. And it also brings attention to the high points of your face, which makes your face look more angular. Now I'm going to do the finishing touches, which is lipstick. And I'm going to go with a super nude lip today. I'm going to use Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes again in 24L. It's an eyeliner, but it works for me. It works really well! This is NYX Retractable in Rose Beige. I'm going to use this CoverGirl lipstick in 230 Cream. I don't know, uh, I don't know if there's a specific name to the line or not, but oh, I love that color. So that's it. 
I'm gonna get my hair done, put it down, and then I'll come back for a final look. So this is the final look. Can you see it? I always ask that. I don't know why, but I just do. Anyway, I like the way it turned out. I, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch the tutorial. I hope that it was helpful to you. Um, I really enjoyed doing it and I'm looking forward to doing more like I've said uh, probably quite a few times. The next video that I'll be having coming out is I believe uh, one from the series Makeup 101 and it will be on foundations. So we'll see you soon. Until then, have a good week.